Hello dear friends, welcome back to Constant Learners. From this video, I am going to be taking some snippets from HTML, CSS and JavaScript and uh, try to understand them because I myself have tried to uh, learn everything in coding all at once, you know, but that's not possible. We cannot learn everything in coding. There always is something or the other that we do not understand or uh, uh, we haven't studied so i'm going to take some portion of uh, or some codes of html css and javascript and i try to understand those in detail here okay so uh, this video is about the difference between div tag and the section tag so when i started learning html i felt quite confused between the div tag and the section tag how do we use them and what is the difference between them so both div tag and section tag are very similar to each other okay there's not much difference between the two both of them uh, define a, a section or a division of uh, the web page and they both contain multiple different html tags like headings paragraphs etc and uh, uh, they both can be used to style that section of code in the CSS okay so any portion of code that is defined within the div tag can be styled all at once in the CSS and similarly any portion of the code within the section tag can be styled all at once in the CSS but how we can maybe define a class or ID within the div tag or the section tag and we can style them accordingly okay so that is a div tag and the section tag is also the same it also defines a section of the web page and we can use multiple different html tags like headings paragraphs etc and we can uh, style a complete section using the css at once but then what is the difference between the div tag and the section tag okay so div tag it does not have a special meaning okay it is only used as a container to contain some other tags within it okay or to uh, style some portion of the code in the css so it doesn't have a special meaning but the section it represents a completely different section of the web page means uh, just like in newspapers we have sports column then we have the gossip column or the entertainment column similarly section is a section of the web page it is a part of a web page but it is a whole part of a web page div is not a whole part of a web page okay now div only represents the tags inside it okay there's no other meaning to it but section it has a theme of its own okay so whatever you define within the section tag it follows a particular theme of its own okay div tag doesn't follow theme it only contains the other tags but section contains the tags and has a theme of its own okay so div tag we know that it helps to style multiple elements simultaneously that means whatever uh, paragraphs or headings we have within the div tag we can style all of them at once using the css in the section as i said it appears as a separate entry on a web page just like the newspaper it is a completely different section or a separate entry now the most important difference between the div tag and the section tag is that the elements within the div tag are not logically connected to each other okay that means the headings and paragraphs they're not interconnected to each other and it doesn't help with the search engine optimization okay like suppose you have a section wherein the heading is um, the most important news of this month okay so if it is written within a div tag it's not going to make any difference and it's not going to help with your search engine optimization but if it's written within the section tag it's going to help with the search engine optimization that means if anybody looks for uh, the most important news in this month so uh, the search engine optimization 
uh, will help to identify your web page because it knows that your web, web page has a section or an article about this particular heading okay so this is the most important difference between div and the section the elements in the div are not logically connected and it does not help with the search engine optimization however with the section the elements are logically connected to each other and it also helps with the search engine optimization now we are going to see um, how to write the div tag and the section tag and what difference it makes on the web page okay so I've opened my text editor I'm using sublime text here you can use any editor of your choice okay and uh, I've also created a basic document here with uh, all the basic tags and a div tag here you can see this div tag within this I have my heading and a paragraph okay now I haven't styled it yet see uh, everything in the style.css is uh, uh, commented so uh, there's no style yet let's save this and uh, here you can see that I have this this is my first paragraph my heading and my paragraph okay now uh, let's style this see I have uh, already added some styles here so I'm just going to use the div tag and uh, add these styles let's save this and here you can see that my div tag is styled or my div is styled now here I have aligned the text to the center but this is being aligned only for this div tag okay the center of the div tag not the screen okay now uh, here in the HTML I am going to copy this and paste this again to see that if we have multiple divs here how does it behave so let's save this and refresh it here so I'm getting two divs here okay now why am I getting this here because divs are block level elements okay so uh, even if this was smaller this wouldn't have come here because they are block level elements they are they do not come side by side okay now suppose I give this a class first okay and let's give this the classes second in the style.css I'll add the class first here let's save this and refresh so you can see that the first div is styled but the second one is not styled so this is how you can uh, write the div and style it similarly you can write the section tags also yeah in place of div we can write the section and here also we can write section save both of these and see this is our section and this is our div okay so this was all about div and section I hope you liked this video if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.